All right, what's up you guys? Dan Russell here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about what programming language you should start with when you're first starting to learn how to code and you wanna make a career transition into being a full-time software engineer. Now, a little about myself, I'm a senior software engineer here in Los Angeles, and I love my job. If you check out my last video, I made a video on how I transitioned my career from being completely jobless and knowing no code at all to being a full-time software engineer in less than a year. And before we get into things, I just wanna ask you to please smash that like button and hit subscribe. This really will help with YouTube's algorithm so that this message gets out to as many people as possible. And of course, always leave a comment and tell me where you're at at your software engineering journey. So let's get into it. The programming language I think you should start with is, drum roll please, JavaScript. Now, I know this is a controversial topic. If you ask any other software engineer, you'll get the canned BS response. Well, it depends on what field you want to go into. And yes, that's true. But I think that that's some of the most unconstructive feedback I've ever heard. The real truth here is that once you know one programming language, you'll easily be able to pick up another programming language because they share very similar implementations and patterns. So why JavaScript? Well, JavaScript is the main programming language used to make web apps. And almost every business out there across most industries needs a strong online presence. And they're willing to pay top dollar for these software engineering jobs. With JavaScript, you can do application programming on both the front end, aka the user interface and the browser side of the application, and the back end, the server side logic and business logic necessary for these jobs. So if you study full stack development from the get go, you'll be well on your way to selling yourself as either a purely front-end engineer or a purely back-end engineer, or both as a full-stack software engineer. Now, if you start with another programming language like Python, for example, you'll only be setting yourself up to get back-end engineer jobs or data science jobs. And there's nothing wrong with this route. Back-end engineers tend to be paid slightly more than front-end engineers, at least in my experience here in Los Angeles. And if you're not into the whole making user interfaces or making buttons for people to click on, I think Python is the perfect route for you. I personally started with full stack JavaScript development and I was easily able to sell myself as either a front end engineer or a back end engineer, depending on the job opportunity that, that came my way. Now, I ended up getting hired as a front end engineer by the current company that I work for. But this is a Python shop that I work for, and I've been able to pick up Python really easily with my backend JavaScript Node.js experience because Node Express is very similar to Python Flask. They're both web server frameworks, and with the help of a lot of self-study on my own part and the help of my coworkers, I've been able to learn full stack Python and JavaScript development all right, well, that's about all I have to say about that. Just to wrap things up, I think that you should go with JavaScript because it's the most dynamic language and you can do a lot more with it. But I think Python is the better language if you aren't into the whole making user interfaces part of programming. Now, if you wanna get started learning today with JavaScript, I highly recommend you go to teamtreehouse.com or lynda.com. Teamtreehouse.com is $25 a month whereas you can get free access to lynda.com through your local library. Thanks for sticking with me till the end. If you like this video, please smash that like button, destroy it, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. I promise I'll respond to it, and maybe you might help someone else in this community. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video.